New at 10, Oklahomans being warned to pump the brakes on their excitement for a just announced theme park the size of Disneyland. We told you yesterday about American Heartland. It's a $2 billion park that's planned for Vanita, just west of Grand Lake. It sounds great. It yeah. looks great. But I spoke today with an industry insider who says he'll be very surprised if the park becomes a reality. Dennis Spiegel says there just isn't enough people in Northeast Oklahoma to justify the size of a project like this and that market saturation, too much competition essentially, will limit their potential. Now Spiegel is a consultant and the former president of the largest international amusement park trade group and he says the 4.9 million visitors American Heartland is projecting is unrealistic. And we actually looked that up to see if it was or not. It is a big number, 4.9 million would make American Heartland the 10th most popular park in the country ahead of both of the Sea Worlds and all of the Six Flags. Silver Dollar City in Branson, about two hours away from Vanita, does about 2.2 million visitors a year, just for the context. American Heartland promises a top tier amusement park, uh, roughly the size of Disneyland along Route 66. But again, uh, I spoke to a man and he said he's really skeptical. It's very easy to get excited about a theme park because they are exciting. Uh, they provide a lot of entertainment and jobs for people, but they uh, they have to be realistic and practical. So what's the percentage, zero to 100, that you give this park, as described this week, from becoming reality? Less than 5%. All right. So we took Spiegel's opinion directly to the park. And the park, the park spokesperson told us he's wrong, that multiple feasibility studies back that up. American Heartland also sent us a statement from local economic researcher Dr. Mark Spears, who did some work for them, who called the park a, quote, market-altering development capable of shifting family entertainment spending patterns in the region, saying the scale and out-of-state pull ensure it will produce significant direct and spillover economic contributions. The spokesperson told us the developer of the project has already acquired the more than 1,000 acres they need. They plan to open an RV park in 2025, followed by the amusement park in 2026. And I think all of us will definitely be following.